We're back with another episode of Nanairo Reincarnation. In our last episode, we unfortunately lost Kikyo. She returned to our grandpa. She served her purpose that she was meant to serve by teaching us how to be a psychic detective. That's what the, we're going by now, apparently. And we've got a new assistant in her place, Kotori, a poor girl who lost the poor doggy. And now we are back home. And we're about to learn how to cook. It's going to take a while to get all the cooking utensils. But, this is also a necessary expense. I'll spend less in the long run compared to buying lunch or ordering food. He returns as a moss of Oh no. Hmm? What's up? Huh? A what? Say it again. Out of a million. What were you using it on? As if. What did you use it on? Tell me the truth. I think she'd be defiant instead of apologizing. I can't just stand back and say nothing. What out? You need to be punished. Come over here. Got no excuse this time. Yeah, what? She disappeared. It's not just a reflection she can erase but herself entirely. <laughs> I can hear a voice from somewhere within the room. She's really the scum of the earth. Where are you? I won't forgive you this time. She's really making fun of me. Alright. Owie, go catch you. I'll give you my ice cream. He is suddenly a free appearance after how he hurls himself at a seemingly empty space. How he firmly restrains Eo and lifts her tiny booty body. Zio's ankles and the worlds are around. So much for a punishment, she's actually enjoying it. <sighs> Whatever. This is too ridiculous. This isn't good, though. What should I do from now on? Konnichiwa! I hear Kotori's voice from the entrance. I have no energy to greet her in there. So I remain seated while waiting for her to enter. After being sat down, probably still dizzy, she staggers around in various directions. All over. This is divine punishment. 
丈夫<笑>大事ないシーダサムダンセリフィーエンプロップスインチューアルユーシュルシーシェアスチャイフェイサーン、バッチュルツルルセン。アスワチュゲーフォンドゥインナリティングス。ヨマシーコトワナモシテオラン。ユーリチェアボー。ノニコアトンデスコーノープ、ノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノノ She laughs heartily. Kotori has been here since that day. Even though there's no ghost saving to do, she still doesn't go straight home, but looks straight away. She helps out with the cleaning and laundry. She's been such a great help. Although she volunteered as an assistant, she's been more like a housemaid. I feel embarrassed about having to do this, so we should probably start doing extra work. I'm busy with a lot of things. I have to find a part-time job before dealing with the ghosts. Oh, Makoto-san, do you want to start a job? I'm going to be hard for my life. Oh, that's... 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 Sure is. I have to learn how to cook so I can save money too. I don't need to remember Makoto. I'm thinking of what I'm going to do for my life. But Aoi doesn't feel up to it. Well, that's a good idea, but can I really conjure one for that reason? You're the one eating meals that cost nearly a thousand yen each time, though. No, it's tiring. At least make it tonight. <laughs> Such a hurry. Calm down. Let's sit down first. Stop it, you old geezers. They're both smirking with an embarrassed clitoris between them. Why are the girls in my home so shameless? My heavens. Anyway, now that we solved the issue of housework, all that's left are the living expenses. I'll find a part time job as soon as I can. Don't throw money around, yo. You have to start saving. You can't talk about my mission here. I don't get any reward for that.
こう見えても責任は感じておる中途半端なことはせんつてがある急ぎ連絡しておこううまくことが運べば明日にでも使いのものが来るはずじゃ詳しい話はそのものとするがよい Quite surprised you've got connections. What kind of person is this? She gets up and heads out into a room. Gramps connections. Which means he must have done this job too. It's probably not related to my mission, but I'm grateful as long as I get a salary. I'll do my best. Oh, it's already time for lunch. Yes, I should start cooking today since I bought this book. Ah, I'll take this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. What's your reaction? I'm going to be able to do this. 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 <laughs> sure, got it. I'm so disappointed at how greedy my housemates are. How about your lunch? I see. Let's see. What should I get? Japanese, Western, Chinese. Western, huh? I wonder if there's a store nearby where I can order some pickups. I'm sure it's a store. Oh, well, let's go there. Yes, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Count on you. Uh, go wait outside. I'll grab my wallet. Hi. I get up and exit the living room, but head to my own room first. I should get the shopping over with right away and take another look at my stuff. Oh, it's quite cool today. The wind is quite nice today. このまま涼しくなってくれるといいんだけどなでも分かってますどうせもっと暑くなるんですよ毎年言ってますよね例年以上の猛暑ってあ、uh, The amount of pollen keeps doubling every year too あれ何なんですかねこのままだと暑さとか踏んで人類滅びますよ That's a possibility. We stroll through the town while making small talk. But sometimes, Kotori turns silent and glances around as if concerned about the surroundings. What's up? You've been acting strange since earlier. Hmm. Makoto san. Hmm. Lei wo miru no ni nani ka kotsu to ka aru n desu ka? Oh, so you've been looking for them. I don't really realize it when I see one. Sorry, I have no idea. So, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. You don't encounter them that often, apparently. You don't need to rush. Take it easy. So, uh, She stops in her tracks and takes a few steps back. She points to her left. Oh, cafe. Cafe? Something in the depths of my memories bothers me. Cafe at the shopping district. I feel like I've heard this recently. Oh, 
I take a peek inside the restaurant from the glass window and remember. This is where Yumi's working part time. And I'm right smack dab during her shift. I'm not sure whether this is a good time or a bad time. Uh, let's go to another. I lock eyes with Yumi. Can't back out now. I'll go buy some food. Could you wait here? Hi! Sure. I'll meet you there once I'm done. Aye. I enter the cafe after I make sure Katari's inside the bookstore. An awkward smile. Not knowing how to react, I look away and stand there. Nah. I guess you could say the wind brought me here? Can I order takeout? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Take the menu from her and give it a good look. Uh, I got to decide quickly that I'm hurrying on home. Uh, uh, yeah, fine with me. Let's see, a pot of pasta, pilaf, rice omelet, and a sandwich. Hi, Napolitan, pilaf, omurice. Etto, otomodachi to isho? Ochi ni kiteru no kanate. Takusan tanonderu kara. Oh, not really. Eh, hitori de taberu no? Er, uh, no, I've got housemates. That's why I'm ordering the three. Ah, one class is not enough. Oh yeah. Ah, eh, 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 She's got her insatiable curiosity as usual, but this is problematic. How should I respond? Whoops. Uh, so honestly, obviously. Uh, yeah. I guess you could say that they're girls. <laughs> oh, 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 They've been living there even before I moved in. I'm living with them now. I can't just kick them out because Gramps died. Oh, Passed away last month. Oh, so. Nanda. Gomenne, Shiranakte. It's my fault for not informing you. Uh, a salad with extra bacon, please. Oh, can I order raw stuff? Ah, do that all. Ochi, chikayone. Yeah, stone's throw away. Ja, daizobu, kana. Icho, kakuni, stemiru, ne. Sure. Give me returns to the kitchen while I take a seat at an empty table. Crisis averted for now. I wasn't lying or anything, right? Bah! It's funny she even here. But where's your book? I see. Yeah, we were in the same university. I react strangely as her direct question catches me off guard. Fail. No comment. I maintain silence without yielding to her pleas. It's just like Aoi and Yumi. Why do girls like these kinds of topics? I just can't put up with them. It's 
time slowly passes by without anything of influence. Before I know it, it's already late. <laughs> They're all huddled around the dining table engrossed in portable gaming consoles. By the way, Theo owns all three units. It's no surprise, we're broke. Hey, how long do you plan on gaming? Take your baths. I'll fix up your futon if you're staying the night, Kotari. Well, we don't have any actual work to do yet. We might get busy starting tomorrow, though. Oh, so that. Hidugoro, you like a guy, has ya. You got any mail, got it out. Oh, Hidugoro, this, eh? Real kind is. Ja, I still was no cranny. Yeah, okay. Hi, Dewa Dewa. Everyone gathers at the entrance to see Katari off. She puts on her shoes, bows several times, and heads on home. Now all I have to do is sleep. But... Why do you look like that? Why are you clinging to my arm? For what? Um, Alright, I still have most taxing work left. Talking that way. Besides, why are you so clingy? It's turning me off. Alright, alright already. But bear in mind. That it's an important ritual to conjure a new demon, okay? Take it seriously. I feel uneasy about this. Household skills? Household so I can bestow some other power then. Mm, which leaves. Mm, let's see. How about visibility to ordinary people? I don't know. I think it's convenient though. She can go shopping. I can leave all the housework to her. We can deal with that somehow. It may have caused a scandal back in the day, but people nowadays aren't too concerned about their neighbors. What do you think, Aoi? Are you fine with the new demon having those powers? Perhaps I should make her more submissive to her master. <laughs> she chuckles without a hint of guilt. Why'd she end up with this personality? I have to be careful from now on. Let me take a bath first. I want to take a breather. Ah, 
sure, sure. Go ahead. I won't. Hurry up and take a bath. <laughs> she makes a dash for the washroom with a lewd smile on her face. Ah, uh, don't undress in the hallway. She's so modest. What do you mean by that? I leave the area with a heavy sigh. I'm already exhausted, but I have to form the image for the demon in my mind. It's gonna be a demon seen in public, so she can't be a free spirited child. It should be one with good manners, too. I enjoyed my bath alone, since I already finished up her turn. It's not like I'm nervous at all, but you kind of get used to this the second time around. I'm more relaxed than I thought. While humming, I wipe down my body, get dressed, and dry my hair slightly. Now then... And... what else was next? Howie gave me some orders before I took a bath. A kiss that tastes like dinner would suck. So I should brush my teeth. It doesn't feel like going into my room, so I head straight to hers once I'm ready. I shouldn't wear a tracksuit because it'll make her feel like I'm treating her like garbage. And many other detailed orders. She's more feminine than I thought, so kissing her is really part of the deal? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I should brush my teeth. I take my toothbrush and square toothpaste over it. I don't wait. Uh, I don't want her complaining that I did a sloppy job, so I make sure to groom myself properly. I head to her room after I'm done with my preparations. I fix my hair a bit too, so it should be no problem. I thought it was a hassle at first, but this is an important ritual where I create a new life. It should be normal to conduct it with around this amount of enthusiasm. Yeah. My mental state is completely different from last time. I relied on Kikyo for everything. For my mission, in order to conjure a well-mannered and disciplined demon into this world. I have to be confident. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm coming in. Her reply completely spoils the mood. I think she gave me all those orders. When the sigh I enter the room. Yeah, I'm coming in. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to use it. Nah, don't. I have a bad feeling about that. No, wait, Howie. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. And she pounces, and she's about to pounce on me. I grab her by the shoulders and push her back. Good. Just calm down for a moment, okay? Calm down! Finally obeys my orders and kneels on the floor. With a sigh, I sit across from her. <laughs> I'd love to, but don't bite my neck. Kikyo told me it'd be a mess if you accidentally punctured an artery. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. Use a safer method. <laughs> face shows utter discontent. Allie's. Yeah. She's got this tendency to look down on me. Anyway, do it anywhere but my neck. Understand? <laughs> You're too gloomy. Finger, okay? So haphazard! You're treating me so haphazardly. 
She hands me a needle, which I think is the same one Kiko used. I don't mind the pricking, but I'll probably feel that strange sensation again. I need to brace myself. The heck was that? Never mind. If I let you do it, I feel I might pierce through. It's not about how you say it. What about the pricking? Nah, it was cute. Do it sometimes. No, I won't ever admit to that. That was cute just now. Very well. I am the needle and take a deep breath. I puncture my index finger with slight force. Of course it is. With a witty remark, I remove the needle while somehow maintaining a poker face. I puncture too deep. I'm bleeding more than last time. Well, it's better than too shallow, I guess. Doesn't seem that way, the demons. Well, of course you wouldn't. I hold up my bloody finger to Aoi. She gulps audibly. Uh, just like Kikyo. Her cheeks turn red and her eyes sparkle and tight seemingly. For demons, their master's blood must be something that can drive them to lose their senses. <laughs> Don't forget, we're in the middle of a ritual here. No problem. Go ahead. After tossing in a meow, which I react to with a wry smile that she ignores, she holds my finger in between her lips. She's in a trance. Her eyes slant downward and she breaks into a smile. Blood tastes like bitter iron to me. I wonder how demons find it. Is it good? What does it taste like? What? I don't know. Ask me later. It's probably what she said. Because she was frowning for a moment there. Suck to your heart's content. She's probably not paying any attention to what I'm saying. She's just giving a casual reply while sucking my butt. Something's off. It's not like I don't feel that strange sensation, but it's very weak this time. Too weak. Don't tell me. Owie! Aww. You're just sucking my blood, aren't you? Aww. Huh? You're only sucking my blood, aren't you? Reward time's over. I pull my finger out of Aoi's mouth. And I use my other hand to block her head as she chases after it. Aoi! It's a ritual! 
I'm well aware of that. That's why we do the ritual first. I'll reward you after that. Yeah? I'm not saying you won't get any reward. Let's just do the ritual first, okay? If you suck too much from me first, then there won't be any left with the ritual, you know? Please, just bear with it for now. Can you do it? And cutely. Okay. Hold up my finger again. So she closes in on my finger with her eyes sparkling with glee. She lightly shakes her head and stiffens her expression. Yeah. This time, with a serious look on her face, she opens her mouth slightly and clasps my index finger up to the first joint. Um. And in that moment, I begin to feel weak. Here it is, the sensation of something being drained from me. The new demon is seeking out my blood, my very essence. She lightly bites my finger while sucking the blood. I've never seen Kikyo act in this manner. I watch her endearingly, thinking about how cat-like Ali is, and then... Ow! I almost pull out my finger from a sharp pain. She, she went all out just now. Owie! No biting! Uh, you're on my hair! Hey! I react nervously to the words. Couldn't help it. Howie's grown intoxicated on the blood and is losing her senses. I see. It's not impossible for her to bite my finger off. But somehow... I don't feel that it will happen at all. I guess that means I can trust her. I think I've matured as a master. Or, well, that's what I tell myself. I have no idea what you're saying. You don't have to talk. Just focus on the ritual. When I've had her head lightly, she narrows her eyes and is being tickled and sucks hard out my finger. Although she said she wouldn't bite, she's probably doing it unconsciously. She keeps biting it lightly. The tickle sensation helps disperse my fatigue a little. And all that's left is to form the image of the new demon. Imagine it subconsciously. I have to stay awake. Shoops away from me. I suddenly feel weak and dizzy, but I somehow stand my ground. A great job. All good? Let's see. Now it's time for your reward, then. I thrust up my finger out to Aoi's mouth again. However, she shakes her head and refuses to put it in her mouth. You don't need it? Well, yeah. Oh. Our lips slightly touch. Okay. Good night. Not with that already. Yeah. Ha, ha. I 
turn a wry smile to Ali's mischievous grin as I leave the room. <sighs> and with that extra long episode, I'm going to stop right there. In the next episode, we get to see what our new demon looks like. Even though I've got a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like, because we watched the, uh, the introduction animation, and it's probably going to be that little short girl in the maid outfit. But who's to say? I'll have to find out tomorrow. Or uh, I keep saying tomorrow. I'll have to find out in the next episode.